Protesters gathered outside the Floyd County Justice Center Tuesday, April 23rd, demonstrating against a reduction in bond for Marcus Logan Auksher. Auksher was indicted in March on a litany of charges, including two counts of vehicular homicide and three counts of first-degree assault related to a high-speed DUI crash, which resulted in the death of Prestonsburg High School students Kendra Jade Marino and McKenna Reese Burnett. He's currently being held on a $1 million full cash bond. Today we're showing that we care and showing our voices and that we're not just social media people. We're protesting because our voices have always been shut down and he pled not guilty to murdering two little girls. But everybody knows murder is murder. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. During the hearing, Kentucky State Police Detective Joshua Scott gave testimony stating one of the occupants gave a statement indicating she asked Auksher not to leave the scene of the crash, but instead he proceeded to travel over 100 feet away from the crash site, up an embankment where he was located over nine hours after police arrived on the scene. Once transported to the hospital, Auksher was found to have a blood alcohol content of .018, despite telling police he had consumed no alcohol. Well, Sheena, her only baby was McKenna. So that has all these people were together every day, 24 seven sleepovers and everything just for a little bit of normalcy. But it's never going to be normal without Kendra or McKenna. And he's took away my twin sister and my best friend. Auksher's legal counsel is currently seeking a bond reduction to a partially secured $100,000 bond. Judge Johnny Ray Harris is set to rule on the request later this week. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.